So, um, can I do a wizard? Can yeah. you? I guess. I'm going to do a wizard now. Ben can't sent this one in. Thank you, Ben. Crushing it has always. It is how to win an I love you more argument. Oh, thank God. Um, which is also my favorite line from Star Wars where Leia's like, I love you. And he's like, I love you. I love you the maximum amount, baby. Mm -hmm. And then he gets frozen. Yeah. How do you win a I love you more argument? It turns out that there are a ton of ways. You just have to get creative. Here, we'll share some sweet and sassy comebacks that will make your SO admit defeat. Read on to come out on top the next time you hear I love you more. I'm just glad that this uh, article is finally acknowledging the truth, which is love is a competition. Yep. As are things all. As all and things. a battlefield, but that's a different thing. Mm, and a, and a flower, a rose with thorns. That's so true, Griffin. Okay, so I, number one, I love you the most. Dazzle them with a word that's even better than more. A child wrote this one. <laughs> <laughs> What's a word that's better than more? Addish, additional. Even I love, more. Fuck. I, I love you incrementally atop your love. I double dog love you. These are more suggestions for I love you the most. I have the ultimate level of love for you. My love for you is unparalleled. I love you more than what's humanly possible. All of now those are- Okay, okay, stop. Yeah. You're a human. Yeah. You're a human, you it's can't. not true. It's I love not true. you. I got dog love for you, which is more than human love. It's a special love. My love for you has exceeded maximum recommended settings. Yeah. I'm terrified. I'm, the, I'm burning up inside I, because of the love I have for you. My processing units just can't handle it. Oh God, yeah. oh God. I need a doctor for how much I love, because I got a bad case of loving you. Like the song says, but mine's yeah. serious, because I could die. I think about you day and night. Say you're totally smitten to be 100% victorious. Here's some suggestions. Even after all this time, I'm absolutely obsessed with you. You're on my mind 24-7. Oh, I totally adore you. I'm head over heels for you every second of the day. Some of these are starting to sound a little bit uh, less of a I love you more competition and more something one might find in the journal of someone that needs some help. Like you know killer, what I mean? Like a killing guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think about you day and night. I'm still yeah. obsessed with you. I like even after all this time, I'm absolutely obsessed with you, acknowledging that time's ravages should have reduced my love yeah. for you at this point. Even though and, I know all the horrible shit about you and how terrible yeah. you are, like, 40% of the time, I'm still yeah. pretty obsessed with you. I frequently forget to eat, poop, and sleep because of the <laughs> Wait, love where I do the commas go in there, Griffin? I... <laughs> 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 uh, gross. I love you to the moon and back. Declare your loves out of this world to win your silly fight. Tell them that there's nothing on earth that compare to how you feel about them. You'll make them swoon with your adoring words. No, Suggestions. You won't. You're my moon and stars. You're the sun in my life. My love for you is out of this world. When you say you're my moon and stars, what does that mean? Because it's not like on a normal basis, you, you the moon and stars are so very important to every individual. That well, it's like, I'm, I'm, my love for you has replaced your love for the moon and stars? No, like, I think it's saying quite literally, and it's stupid because you know what my moon and stars is? The moon and stars? Yeah, there's they're great. Yeah. They're up they're up there every night doing it. I, like, I'm just saying that there's what you could say like, you're my bread, right? Oh, I love great. bread. You're the blood in my body, and I do need that. I don't know that I love my blood, though. I'm saying, like, I'm making I an do. optional choice. Well, okay. I Your blood is great, great, though. I got amazing blood. But if I um, say, like, I love you more than I love detective plus weird consultant procedural shows. And that's a lot. That means something. That means something. Um, you're going to be, here's where we really start to get into it. You're going to be my number one for an eternity. Tell them you'll always be their biggest fan to win them over. Bring up words like eternity, forever, or endless. It'll be unmistakable that you'll always be there for your SO. I, I don't want a fan. I place you above everything else. I worship you. You will always come first. Your happiness is my biggest priority, babe. Gross. Babe. Babe, forever, babe. We'll never die. Hey, Even this when is I... all shit that, like, 15-year-old Travis said because he thought it was romantic. This is gross. But it's getting there, isn't it? No. Try this out. You think about this Mandela effect. Your brain is like, that sucks. But really, it's good. If Teresa said to me, I'm your biggest fan. Forever, that is for eternity. For eternity? For an that, endless mm, forever No, eternity. thank you. I worship no, you, Travis. Travis, hey, real you. quick. Yes, I worship you. Yeah. I worship you eternally. Well, I appreciate that, guys. 
I, place I mean, you that's above definitely everything. uneven as far as our yolks go. I place you above everything else, Travis, forever and for eternity. That is putting a lot of pressure stopping. on me as your brother, yeah. but I really appreciate it. And I also know, frankly, I can rise to that challenge. Um, if, if I had to choose... But I'm not married to you guys? Here, let me try this next one. If I had to choose the best part of my life, it'd be you, kissy face emoji con. Well, you're right about that. They say they're, say they're a gift, so they'll melt and admit defeat. Say that just their presence is the highlight of their life. What? Your presence is the highlight of your life. That's great. That's actually pretty meaningful. Can I just say this? Also, whoever has written this article also does not know how to win. And I love you more competition because the way that you win, I would argue, is for your partner to be the one who loves you more. Like, I love you more. Oh, Good. Whoa. Whoa. Right? That's... If you love the other person more, you've lost. Right. Yeah. So if they're like, I, I love you. I love you more. Good. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate Good. that. That's great. Checkmate, That's great for me. I guess. Checkmate. Awesome. Oh, cool, sorry, man. I don't, sorry, I don't love you as much as you love me, but I'm over here ba -da -ba 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 loving it. Yeah, I appreciate it. Hey, awesome. Because I know this. how much I love you. Yeah. And if yours more than that, fuck yeah, dude. Or you could get really butthurt about it. Just be like, wow, I thought I love you the most, but fuck me, I guess. Yeah, I guess I'm the asshole. I guess I'm the, the real big butthole. I got proof I love you more. I bought you a PS5. Be over the top and give them a gift to come out on top in your quote-unquote fight. This is a great call for a special milestone like their birthday or an anniversary. Use a thoughtful gift as evidence for how much you adore them. Now, you do it, have to sit on that gift for a while because you're like, I have the, okay, I've bought the PS5. Now to get into an I love you more. I love you. I love you too. Fuck. Damn it. Fuck. Damn it. Why did Are you, you sure that? you don't? How much? <laughs> what? How much do you love me? What do you, why, why are you asking me that? Quantify you, it. Fight me. But just compare it to my love for you. Come on. It'll be fun. I don't want to do that. I love I, you. I love you too. What are you fucking afraid of? <laughs> Challenge me. Um, here's some suggestions. It's obvious I love you more. Just check out the package on your doorstep. I think these concert tickets show I love you more. I, bl <laughs> I blow your love out of the park. I booked us a trip to Maui. I like... <laughs> wow! The, the tense in that one sounds a lot like they're doing a little bit of role play. Like, oh yeah, well my love... I blow your love out of the park. I cast... <laughs> I, I five cast immolation. trip to Maui. It's a this critical is, success. I wish I'd been there when um, this kid was like, what do... What do people, where's a romantic place to go? Um, Maui, I guess. Um, Can I also just say, that sounds a little bit like whilst in the middle of the argument, I've pulled up like Expedia or something on my phone. And it's like, oh yeah, I just booked, it's like, you booked us a trip without talking to me first? Like, yeah. how much did you spend? I'm busy that week. What if I was busy? Don't I can't go. Don't get mad because I played my trap card. We're going to Maui. You lose. Good day, man. <laughs> you all lose. The, all the dictionaries in the world wouldn't have enough words to describe my love. If you're left speechless, say words can't express all your love. Let them know that there's no way you could tell them how much you love them, even if you had all the phrases for love at your fingertips. If you're with each other in person, give your SO a hug to really seal the deal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love you, flubity bloobity. Hug. Yeah. Uh, I'd run out of breath if I listed all the ways I love you. So what, you want me to die, Sheila? Come on. That's very selfish of you. It takes more than a lifetime to share everything I love about you. So do not ask me to, because we will both be dead at the end of it. Here's another one. A trillion poems couldn't capture how much I love you. Use impressive numbers like 100, a million, or a thousand to express that you can't qualify all your love. Do they know that those three are not in order of size? A hundred poems couldn't capture how much I love you. That's not really that impressive there's a grip of poems out there also almost certainly not true right like this is the, when you get into that like all these poems couldn't express how much i love you it's like i don't know That's man lazy. like one you haven't one even these, tried these good poems like there's a lot of poems yeah. even that if it was just like roses are red violets are blue you're really great like i okay cool yeah nice man like i love you a lot that's all you're expressing this whole time. Like, you're not yeah. rewriting anything. And a lot of people don't know this, but I'm married to a poet, and she has taught me a lot about this stuff, is that some poems aren't even about loving someone, and yeah. some of them are about, like, like, a big, strong baseball player. You could give up and respond, I know, end the argument by soaking up your SO's love, get a little cocky and say you're already totally aware they adore you. It's a great way to stop them in their tracks and make them laugh. Suggestions. Tell me something I don't know. Okay. Sounds good to me. 
How could you not, shrug emoji? I love you more. You're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to love you more, but I've just never known how to. And you, uh, <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the Casey at the Battle of Love. I'm trying just, to swing away and I keep missing. And this one will for sure get you broke up with. Let's just agree we love each other equally. You're not really arguing. <laughs> the truth is, truce is still pretty cute. Remind them that love doesn't have to be a battlefield, even Wait, though yeah. we have spent the last 10 tips demanding that love be a battlefield. I love Focus you, on what huh? really matters, your feelings for each other, and celebrate that you're both completely in love. Suggestions. Why don't we call it even? We're both 100% in love. I don't want to argue. Let's just call it it's truce. Good. I'm I in think, love. I think we should call it a day and just cuddle. I'm not going to cuddle I love you. you. I love you more. Don't do this. Don't do this. Let's stop and cuddle. I'm not going to cuddle with you. You're fucking weak. We're Couldn't driving. Think of a good thing to say. Yeah. Okay, cuddle um, me. No, I'm driving. Cuddle me. If you love cuddle me. Cuddle me now. <laughs> if you love me, you'll let go of the wheel. If you don't cuddle me right now, it means I love you the most. And I will be consistently dissatisfied with the level of love that you are giving me. That's the subtext of this whole thing. Um, that's all. Don't do any of this. Don't do any of this. No, don't do it. No, don't do it. I love you in a different way. Oh, that's cool. I yeah. love you. You may love me more in the way that you love me, but yeah. I love you in a very special way, like the way a dog loves a person. Oh, this, okay, this is great. When when your partner says, I love you more, you say, like, are we talking, like, per pound? Is this a ratio thing? Or is it yes. just, like, right, we're just doing one for one love comparison? Let's really break this down, because I'm about four inches taller than you, right? So I would say that's my good. love per square inch. Yeah might be lower than yours but still my overall number and by this point they've left the room they've left you yeah you say i've got 60 pounds on you and that's pure love muscle and i'm that's not right. talking about my wiener when i say that yeah. i mean the if you I got a 60 the, pound wiener oh my god go to the happens. hospital um that's it for this article i feel like we did a good job with it yeah I'm glad we could help, and I want to help somebody else. I'm not. I'm, 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 my thirst is still unslaked. Well, it's gotta oh. wait. What? It has to wait. We gotta help what? ourselves first. Ah, money. Let's get the money set. Mm-hmm.